Seven. So good evening everyone and welcome to today's lecture. Uh, this is capacitance lecture number five and in today's uh, class we will deal with uh, the series and the parallel combination of capacitance. Now uh, in the previous class we had deal the uh, we had dealt with uh, how do you find the capacitance and on what or factor it depends on. In today's class, we will see the series and parallel combination of capacitors. Anyone has any idea about the series and parallel combination of a capacitor? Anyone knows anything about it? Have you ever heard it? Series and parallel combination. Hmm? Uh, in the distance you have heard. So whatever you have heard in the distance, it is similar to whatever you have heard in the distance. So we will start with the first type of combination and that is known as the series combination. Series combination of capacitors. Now, what happens in this series combination? Anyone would like to say anything? What happens in the series combination of capacitance? How are capacitance connected? They are connected in series. What do you mean by what do you mean by capacitance connected in series in a line? What do you mean by in a line? If I just try to give you the diagram of this, and probably the diagram would uh, make uh, more sense. The diagram looks like this. Capacitance in series. I have taken three capacitors here. It could have been two. It could have been four. It could have been more than four. These are the capacitors. When the capacitors are connected in such a way that the charge on the capacitor Q charge on the capacitor is same charge on each of the capacitors as you can see there is only one path through which charge can flow there is only one path through which uh, current can flow so charge coming on each of the capacitor is same and the potential difference v can be different it can be same as well but the most important thing for a capacitor or a combination to come in a series is charge flowing through the capacitors is same. Then such type of combination is known as the series combination of the capacitor. As you can see here, beta, on all the capacitors, we have Q charge. The plate of the yeah. capacitor which is connected to the positive terminal gets plus q charge the opposite plate the plate which is in front of the cap uh, in front of that plate gets negative charge and similarly all the other plates get charge do we understand this yes sir this type of combination of capacitor is known as the series combination of the capacitors as you can see as you can see the charge is same but you can see the potential difference across each capacitor is different potential difference is different but the charges is same we call such combination as the series combination, the charge is same, Q is same, and we can write this Q will be equal to C1 into V1, or it will be to equal to C2 into V2, or it will be equal to C3 into V3. Do we understand this, what, are, what we have written here, yes or no? Okay, now, 
I can also uh, see from here that if I add the three voltages V1 plus V2 plus V3, that V1 plus V2 plus V3 will be equal to the value of total voltage V. Everyone sees that V1 plus V2 plus V3 will be equal to V. Am I audible and visible to all of you? Yes, sir. V1 plus V2 plus V3 will be equal to V. And uh, charge flowing through each capacitor is same. Now what we can do is I can replace these three capacitors. I can replace these three capacitors. And in place of these three capacitors, I can put one capacitor which will do the job that these three will together do. And that is known as the equivalent capacitance. That is known as the equivalent capacitance. So this equivalent capacitance, how do I find it out? One by C equivalent will be equal to one by C1 plus one by C2 plus one by C3 and so on. This is how we can find out equivalent capacitance in case of series combination of capacitors. And this is exactly same as your series combination of registers. In series combination of registers, you have same current flowing. But the formula is inverse. The series resistance becomes R1 plus R2 plus R3. Here it is the inverse which is coming. 1 by C equivalent is 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. This type of combination of capacitors is known as the series combination. Do we understand this? Everyone understands this? Okay. I'll give you two minutes to note it down. Please note it down. Once you are done, please let me know so that we can move forward. Now, since we have understood uh, this, let me uh, note down everything again in a point-wise uh, manner for series capacitance. So you can write them important points. Important points. Number one, remember these are important points for series combination. Charge is same on all the capacitors. Charge will be coming as same. Number two point, the equivalent capacitance 1 by C equivalent will be equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3 and so on. If there are more, more capacitors then you must remember that potential difference v is inversely proportional to the capacitance that means capacitor with more capacitance will have less voltage capacitor with more capacitance will have less voltage capacitor with more capacitance will have less voltage do we understand this Do we understand this? Do we understand this? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Now, if there are two capacitors, if there are only two capacitors, now you can remember the shortcut formula for two capacitors. For two capacitors, the C equivalent can be written as C1 into C2 multiplication divided by C1 plus C2. That is the shortcut formula that we can create for two capacitors. And most of the question that you might encounter will be based on two capacitors. So this formula becomes a very good formula for you to remember. Similarly, for two capacitors, the potential difference can be written as C1 
the potential difference across C1 can be written as C1 plus C1 upon C1 plus C2 into V. And for the second, the potential difference can be written as C2 upon C1 plus C2 into V. Are we there, everyone? Yes, sir. Has everyone noted this down? Completed, sir. Okay. okay. Now, uh, remember this formula as well. The next formula. And the next formula is your total charge Q that is, that is coming on each of the capacitors can be written as C1 into V1. And that will be equal to C2 into V2 if you are talking about two capacitors. And that will be equal to C equivalent multiplied by V. C equivalent multiplied by V. All these formulas, if you can keep them together, you will be uh, doing a great job. Now, from there, you can write your Q will be equal to C1 V1 will be equal to C2 V2 and that will be equal to C equal and C1 C2 upon C1 plus C2 times V. If you remember this formula, the red formula that I have written can be derived from this formula and I think I have written the red formula uh, in the inverse order. I think this C1 V1 will be equal to C2 times. I've written it in the reverse order, sorry. And this one will be C1 into V. So with V2, C2 should come, sorry, genuine mistake. And with, uh, with V1, C2 will come. And with the V2, C1 will come because it is inverse ratio, not direct ratio. Here you can also see that same thing. You can derive it from the equation that I have given to you. So, I hope you have, you, have, you have corrected that mistake that I had done. Yes or no, everyone? Yes, sir. I did turn it uh, mistakenly. Please correct it. Okay. Now, uh, if there are... If there are N equal capacitors and this is a very important formula if they are n equal capacitors connected in series then your c equivalent will become c by n your c equivalent will become c by n so it will be divided by n and voltage across each of the capacitors will be same, all will be same, and that will be equal to V divided by N. So, if you have, if you have N number of capacitors connected in series, your capacitance will become one by N times, and your voltage across each capacitor will also become 1 by 
n times. Everyone understands this, what I have written, yes or no, no, yes. This type of combination of capacitors is known as the series combination of capacitors. Everyone has understood this, yes or no? Yes, sir. Everyone has noted down the points. I'll give you two minutes to note them down. Then let's move ahead and uh, solve a couple of problems based on this. And this is the first problem that I'm going to present. Can you solve this one and give me the answer? Capacitor of capacitance, four microfarad and six microfarad are connected in series. A potential difference of 500 volt is applied to the outer plates of the two capacitors. So connected to a battery of 500 volts. What is the charge on each capacitor? I'll give you two minutes to think about this. I want you to get the answer on your own. If you are not able to do it, then I will uh, solve this question for you. I hope you can do this. I'll give you two minutes to think about this. So how you have to do this? I mean, you don't even have to draw a diagram. Now, first thing in any such question, whenever you see a series of parallel combination, especially for series combination, if they're asking you the charge, first you can find out the equivalent resistance. And the shortest formula to find out the equivalent resistance is C1, C2 upon C1 plus C2. So it is four into six divided by four plus six. Do not solve it, just keep it as 24 by 10. Just keep it as 24 by 10. 24, 24 by 10 microfarad, Remember, 24 by 10 microfarad is the effective capacitance. To find out the charge, the charge will be equal to, I uh, given the formula C equal and multiplied by V. So it would be 24 by 10 multiplied by 500. And the answer is 1200. Yes or no? Yes, sir but not 1200 coulombs because bacha there is micro here so it is 1200 micro coulombs and okay. therefore the correct answer is c and not b do we understand what is the mistake that we are doing Do we understand? Yes, sir. The mistake. So remember, the capacitance is always in uh, microfarad. So the answer may always come in micro coulomb. We understand this, yes or no, no, yes. Yes, sir. So remember this. Anyways, let us move on to the next question. And the next question is like this. And I hope that you can give me an answer quickly. What is the answer for this one? What is the answer for this one? Two cap three capacitors of capacity C1, C2, and C3 are connected in series. Their total capacity would be, and I wait your answers patiently with a lot of patience. Yes, my dear friends. What is the answer for this one? Yes, or I need to do this. Sir, option C. C. Option C. C. Option C is the correct option. Do we understand this, everyone? 
1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 and you have to take the inverse of that. So this is how it looks like when we have it in this form. Do we understand this? Everyone? Yes, sir. I don't see the, 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 uh, raise hands from everyone. Everyone, we understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Great. Next one, my dear friends. Coming for you. Fresh from the stocks. And this one. Three capacitors of two microfarad, three microfarad, and six microfarad are connected in series to a 10 volt source. What is the charge on the three microfarad capacitors? And I'll give you two minutes to give me the answer for this one. How are you supposed to do this? It's a very simple question, Beta. You see that these capacitors are in series. So first thing that you have to do is find out the equivalent capacitance. You put the formula 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3, my dear friends. So 1 by C equivalent will be equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. How much you are going to get when I add 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6? Huh? You are going to get 1 by C equivalent equal to 1. That implies, my dear friends, that C equivalent will come as 1 microfarad, my dear friends. As soon as you get the value of C equivalent as micro 1 microfarad, charges on all the three capacitors will be same. And the charge will be equal to C equivalent multiplied by V, my dear friends. And we end up with the answer of... 10 micro coulombs. 10 micro coulombs is the answer. Do we understand this? Yes or no? Do we understand this? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now I will. I am putting one more question here. I am putting one more question here. If the voltage across this one is V1, if the voltage across this is V2, if the voltage across the third one is V3, can you find out the value of V1, V2 and V3? You have to find out the value of V1, V2 and V3 and I'll give you two minutes to do this. You understand the question V1, V2, V3? Yes or no? Find out the value of V1, V2 and V3. Okay, I think uh, you are not able to get the answer. Can I do it? Charge. So I know the charge on each of the capacitors is same. It is 10 micro coulomb. 10 micro coulomb. So for this capacitor, I can just use the equation Q is equal to CV. I can just use the equation Q is equal to CV. I know Q is 10 microfarad, 10 micro coulomb. C is 2 microfarad. So from there, I can get the voltage as 5 volts. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the answer for this one is 5. Similarly, for this, I, I will apply the equation. Q is equal to CV, Q is 10, C is 3. So the answer for this one will be 10 by 3. Similarly, I can apply the equation here. It will be 10 by 6. And that is how I get my answers. Do we understand this, everyone? Yes, sir. I'll give you one minute to note it down. Please note it down. Sir, once you back, sir. sir, once please. If we have done this one, I will give you one more question and I hope that uh, you can solve this question and get some more confidence. So this is the question. Two capacitors, three microfarad and six microfarad are connected. in series
with a battery of 10 volts. Find Q, V and U of each capacitor. Do you understand the meaning of Q? What is Q? What is Q? Charge. Charge. What is V? Potential. And what is U? Potential energy. Energy. So you have, energy. these are the only three things that they can ask you, beta. So if you can find these three things out, you would get a lot of confidence. I'll give you two minutes to solve this. Yes, Bacha? Q happens to be 20, yes? Uh, pot uh, potential energy is 100. Of each capacitor, Bacha. Which capacitor are you talking about? Okay, okay, sir. Wrong. So remember the question of each capacitor. Each capacitor, the charge of each capacitor is same, Bacha, but potential and energies are different. Do you understand this? That is what you have to understand. Simple, simple questions. And uh, you will have to understand how they are done. I will still give you two minutes to get the answer and stay happy. B to 10 by 3. Okay, looks good. Energy, 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 energy. Energy, 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 energy. Energy, 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 energy. Energy, 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 energy. Two more minutes you have to show me your talents. Okay, I'll do that. Um, so first of all, you have to find out the value of C equivalent. C1, C2 upon C1 plus C2. I hope everyone has got the answer for this. 3 into 6, 18 divided by 3 plus 6, 9. So the C equivalent comes as 2 microfarad. Everyone understands this? Yes or no? Huh? Yes or no? Boys, everything okay in the universe? Okay, sir. We are roaming around here and there. Okay, now we can find out the charge, which will be same on all this. C equivalent multiplied by V. So it is 2 multiplied by 10. So this will be equal to 20 micro coulomb. Yes or no? Huh? Sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Now yes, I can find out the voltage across the 3 microfarad. So that will be 20 micro coulomb divided by, by 3. So it is 20 by 3 micro, not micro, 20 by 3 volts. Mm. Potential decrease across the 6 microfarad capacitor will be 20 divided by 6 volts. You can, I, I can also write it 20 divided by 6. Now the only thing is to calculate the, 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 the value of energy. And we have three different formulas to find out the value of energy. Here, which formula I will use? I will just use a bit of common sense. Charge is same in all. So to find out the energy stored in the three microfarad capacitor, I will use the formula Q square by 2C because Q is same. So I will just use same. So Q square is 20 square divided by 2 into capacitance of this is 3. And the answer will come in microjoules, remember it. So this is the way I can use to find out the energy of this capacitor. I can use another formula as well. Half CV square also I can use. Half Q into V also I can use. But here I will use Q square by 2C because Q is same. Similarly, to find out the energy stored in the 6 microfarad capacitor, what will I do? Again, I will use the formula Q square by 2C. Q is 20 square divided by 2 into capacitance is 6. And the answer I will get will be in microjoules. Do we understand this or this has gone above our saying bye-bye? Yes, sir. Boys? Gone above our heads? Huh? Yes, sir. Gone above the heads? No, sir. Understood, sir. Okay. Then I'll give you one last question for today's class. And I hope that you can get the answer for this one. Everyone has noted on the previous question, yes or no? Yes, sir. 10 equal capacitors, 5 microfarad are connected in series with 
with a battery of voltage whose voltage is 20 volt. Now, one last time, do it again and feel confident about yourself. Find CQ, CEQ, whatever it means. Find Q, find, uh, find, uh, find, uh, what is this? Uh, find uh, V and U of each capacitor. Do you understand the meaning of uh, the terms that I've used? Yes or no? Of each yeah. capacitor, C equivalent cannot be of each capacitor. C equivalent is a total equivalent resistance. Q, V, and U, and your time, good or bad, begins now. You have Sir, two... equivalent is one by five. One by two, one by two. Ah? One? Yes, one by two. One by two. What about the next? All? We have more. I'll give you two minutes. Two minutes is what you have, my dear friends, boys and girls. Time has gone out of our hands. So now I will have to discuss the answers. The first one, what is the C equivalent? 10 equal registers, each of five. I have given you the formula. What is the equivalent resistance? Yes or no? Sir, Q is equal to 10. Are, Q is equal to 10. Give me the answer for this one. What is C equivalent? 1 by 2. It will be 5 divided by 10. So that will be 1 by 2 microfarad. Well done. Then the charge. Oh, this is an old age old story to find out the charge. So it will be 1 by 2. Multiplied by 20, so it will be 10 micro coulomb. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Then you have to find out the potential of it. You don't have to divide it again. You can use V by N also. Two. Huh? V is equals to 2, sir. 2, sir? Yes, sir. 2, sir. Two, sir. Then you can find out the energy. The energy of all of them would be equal because everything is equal. You can find it by out by Q square by 2C. That is my favorite formula here in this case. So it will be 10 square divided by 2 into capacitance is 5. And your answer would come in microjoules. Do we understand this, everyone? Eh? Everyone chilling out. Do we understand this? What has gone about yeah. that saying bye-bye? Yes, sir. Go on about uh, uh, No, sir. No, sir. Understood, sir. Okay, then. We have dealt with uh, series connection in this class. Now, we will do with the other connection, the parallel connection in the next class. This is series. The other one is parallel. So, we will deal with the parallel connection in the next class. I hope you have got the sheet for this. Try questions on that sheet. We'll come back and do more questions on this in the next class. Take care. God bless all of you. Bye bye, beta. Bye, sir. See you Thank tomorrow. You, sir. Yes, sir. Bye, bye. bye, sir. Bye, sir. Take care. Take care, beta.